I just don't understand. What's the problem? I just don't understand why we gotta go through the same shit every day. Damn, like this some bullshit. You be on that bullshit. You on that 718, can't get a full clip. Niggas really fool. Just let him lick it. He really wanna fuck me cause he know that run is different. Uh -huh. That pussy but I purr like a little kitten. He begging. Asking me to let him stick the tipping. But if he stick the tipping. The reason why I really fuck with you because you did stand up for, you know, the LGBTQ community. And I'm a transgender woman myself. So growing up and watching you, you know, stand up. Because, you know, back then, people, the only one that was like that was Perez Hilton. That was that I really saw that was really openly gay or, you know, at least out, out the closet. And so, I'm, I'm actually really good friends with him now. We talk back okay. and forth a lot. Go ahead. That's good. That's good. That's good. You see, that's a lot of growth. But um, like I was saying, so when you when you did, you know, did your thing, I was like, okay, that's really good. Like I really like that, and I'm I'm really like I'm I love <laughs> I love you so much. Like I love and, you. And, so and you know the thing about it is, is that you know like I feel like reality TV is just it cuts out a lot of things. So I I genuinely you were you were uh, I never like. When I watch you, I was always like, oh, yeah, that's my girl. But I was never like, you know, like, it's just, they cut shit out, and everybody knows that. Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll explain something to you really quickly. Um, you okay. said, I, like, how, how you said I did a lot for the LGBT community. Uh -huh. and stuff. I'm going to say something. I, I always, always, and even for my country, Albania, a lot of Albanian kids that were too scared to come out after me. Thank God for that, right? But also, I'll tell you something. The other day, I saw um, Natalie getting an award for... Um, for doing a lot for the LGBT community, right? And mm -hmm. and I gotta say, like, and, and a part of me was like, what the fuck does she do for them? You yeah. know what I'm saying? But 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 at the end of the day, I I had to say, you know what? It doesn't matter because I don't need an award because real people recognize yeah. real shit. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing: what you need to understand about reality TV, and you need people need to see, understand one thing about me. They saw me on Bad Girls Club thinking I was an angry person, but what you don't realize is uh -huh. that mm -hmm. I was there for almost three months in that house. Number one. Yes. Number two. It took me. It takes me a lot of bad things to happen for me to get angry. Mm -hmm. So, so even when everyone thought I was an angry person, I was always a very peaceful person. Like, even though they made fun of the things that I did, like writing the letter or, you know, trying to ask you know, the universe, should I keep Judy in at Bad Girls All-Star Battle or not? Yeah. I was receiving gu guidance from my guides from then. And I was always peaceful, but being in that environment and that circumstance, mm -hmm. it made me an angry person because yes. I had to match their energy because we got to a point where I started to understand these bitches don't understand love and peace. So I'm going to have mm -hmm. to get on level. Right. And it was all, you know, back then. And I forgave everyone. I'm friends with everyone. I have no hate for anyone, which is why I could never be on the news episodes. Cause if yeah. they try to start fights with me, I'd be like, I love you. It's okay. You need healing. Mm -hmm. And I'd walk away. I don't want to see drama. I don't want to see fights. I don't like it. I, I can tell you something. I've never seen my season. Mm -hmm. What people don't know about me. I might have seen scenes and shots of it. But, but I not know. like the full. Not the full. Never. Never. Because okay. cause it's the screaming and the yelling for me. I can't. I, mm -hmm. I couldn't watch it then. I can't watch it now. I can't yeah. watch other people fighting and scream. And I'll say this as, as well, because I'm glad that you got on here. First of all, I love you. Second of all, Thank be you. who you are and never be mm -hmm. ashamed of who you are. But I'll tell you something about life. If we continue to keep staying stagnant in the same position over and over again, and we don't show growth, then what's happening is it doesn't matter if a hundred people watch me and a million people watch the new bad girls club shows. It don't matter. I got asked to be on every one of those shows and I denied it and rejected it. Not because I was like, I'm too good for it. I understood where my role was and my mission was. I do that. I'm going to show people I haven't grown and I still want yeah. to be a part of the toxic toxicity and I'm not going to be able to help anybody who doesn't want my help. So I'm not going to go there because they asked me, come in, do your readings, help people, how am I going to help you if you're not willing to do the yeah. work? I can't. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, what I want to say to everyone here that wants to know, finally, I'll put the, um, you know, the, 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 the rest to all of this. 
the reason why I don't get involved with any of that stuff has nothing to do with me hating anybody, but I watch these girls today and the energy that I'm at today and the empathic energy that I'm at today, fighting each other and hating each other so much, so much that you can see the pain in their eyes. They almost want to hug each other and love each other and everybody needs love and they need affection. Mm -hmm. And we got people making fun of people for being broke and not having things. And mm -hmm. I can't i can't get with that yeah i can't do it so at the end of the day it is what it is I